Welcome to the Fit15 Podcast Show, where you'll find health and fitness inspiration, motivation, and information shared in 15-minute episodes. Tune in while getting a move on to make leading and enjoying the benefits of a healthy lifestyle almost too easy. It's the Fit15. And now your host, Katherine Basu. Welcome to the Fit15 Podcast Show. I'm excited to have you tuning in for today's episode, which is one in a mini series. I am running in honor of the one year anniversary of the publication of my book, Superwomen Secrets Revealed. Successful women talk about fitting in fitness and dare you to join them. So, in this mini series, I'm having more ladies come on and share basically the same things they shared in the book how and why they fit in fitness, and a fun fitness challenge in the form of a dare to help you get excited about fitting in fitness and keep us updated on how that goes for you if you give it a shot. So if you want to learn more about the series, you can go back and listen to the introductory episode. But without further ado, I want to welcome and introduce you to today's guest. My guest today is Rebecca Tracy. She is the head slash only honcho at The Uncaged Life, where she works with coaches, healers, and consultants from all over the world who want to have the freedom of working from anywhere by running their own online business. She helps people get clear on their brand message, create packages that sell, and helps them learn what it actually takes to get and keep clients online. Rebecca runs a free online community of over 8,000 solopreneurs, She started her business while living in a van and loves rock climbing and riding her bike around Toronto, as well as repelling off cliffs with her dog, Rhubarb, on her back. Find her at theuncagedlife.com. Rebecca, welcome to the podcast. I'm so excited to have you joining us today. Yay, thanks so much for having me. Yeah, so I know you were part of my original blog series when I started asking people to share, you know, how and why they fit fitness into their routines. So some people have already met you from that, but some people listening, you know, will be totally new to you. So wondering if you could just share, and this might've changed as well, your daily routine, like how do you go through your days? How do you fit fitness into your schedule as an entrepreneur? Yeah. I don't remember what I said. That was like three years ago. So <laughs> um, I was probably fitter then. <laughs> probably even more then. So I find I, I definitely go through cycles where I'm fitting it in way better because I'm not working as much and then cycles where I'm like in launch mode and I'm really not doing a very good job. Um, mm-hmm. so, so I can get, you know, give you examples from both. I think it's just a matter of really, I notice how I feel. So I'm like a big feeling person and like I can tell when I've just been too lazy for too long so one of the things that that I love doing is just like it's doing it first thing in the morning because I'm it's really easy for me to say like oh I'll just like I'll just answer these emails and then I'm gonna like go and like do some yoga in the, in the spare room or whatever and then 5 p.m hits and I'm like oh you haven't left your desk <laughs> I find doing it very first thing before I even check my email is like one of the only ways that I actually make sure that I fit it in Love that. I mean, I know, yeah, looking at emails is not very energizing, right? <laughs> so, God, no. Especially after there's a few of them. Okay, so I love, love that, the honest uh, <laughs> approach there. And I, I have found, you know, I definitely have started doing more in the morning myself, even though I might not get my fastest, you know, best workout in. I think it definitely helps. You just have more of that energy and focus from the workout that can carry you through the rest of the day. So that can be really helpful too. Yeah. And I'm just, because I work at home and I work by myself, it's like easy to just stay in my PJs all day. And once I get sucked into the computer, it is, I'm in. (laughs) It's very hard to stop and go, okay, just stop all of these emails. All of these things can wait and pull yourself away. So I prefer to do it before I even know like what, what kind of day I have ahead. (laughs) Right. Right. No, that's a good point. So has fitness always been a routine of yours, Rebecca, or is it something you had to add on or how does that, how is that? (laughs) I am by nature, very lazy, (laughs) very lazy. Um, and it takes a lot for me to actually stick to a routine. So it's been important for me over the years to actually just find things that I like doing. I've tried Mm -hmm. going to the gym. I've tried running. I don't like to do any of those things. (laughs) And so I've, you know, I've stumbled upon rock climbing somehow and yoga somehow. And so those are kind of the two main things that I do. And so they, I definitely have to do things that I, that I'm interested in and that are fun for me, or I have to have a really specific 
goal for why I would be doing anything else. Got um, it. I have to make it like a, a fun challenge or else I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yoga and, and rock climbing are good, very good uh, combo there. So <laughs> yeah, they do. They do work well together. I've, my friends, my friends joke, I've got a couple girlfriends where in the mornings when it was actually nice out in Toronto, not winter, we would um, get up, I think it was like every Thursdays and we'd get up at like 7am and just go and meet at the park and do a bit of a workout. And <laughs> they'd laugh because I'd complain the whole time and I'd wanted to skip sets. And they're like, you're so lazy, but you're so fit. Like, how are you so lazy? And I was like, I just don't like it. <laughs> so I really have to push myself to, to stay consistent with anything. Yeah, no, I mean, well, so I guess you you have tried to find a way to fit it in, even if it's not something that comes naturally to you or you don't yeah. normally feel fun, but why do you choose to make it a priority, even if it's something that, you know, is you, you wouldn't really maybe do otherwise? What are some <laughs> of the benefits you find from, from actually getting moving? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I mean, everything after I do it, I'm like, that was the greatest idea ever. I'm so fit. I'm going to do this every day. Right? <laughs> so just, I just notice it. I notice my energy levels, my sleep, how I feel my, you know, luckily I wear stretchy yoga pants every day to work, but, um, those get a little bit tighter. So just like, I just, like I said, I really feel it in my body. And so I, I just, I can't imagine, you know, there's been streaks where I've you know done nothing for two or three weeks and I'm just like, I feel like, crap most of the time so yeah and it just is so much more energy for actually doing my work too mm. now, I like how you show that because I think you know for me I just want other people who have not been in routine ever to have that feeling because it really is once you feel the benefit it's hard to not want to have that for yourself consistently yeah so yeah so I know you shared sometimes you have you know gotten out of your routine maybe you know for a few weeks even mm -hmm. Like, so you do have that, that sense that you're not feeling like your best self, but how do you get back on track? And do you have any insights for people that maybe, I mean, I get a lot of times people will say that they've been off track for, you know, several months, maybe a year or more. Like, how would you encourage someone who's been off track a little bit to use some of maybe the strategies you've used to get back on track? Yeah, I'm, I like to make everything a bit of a game. That is your halfway point reminder. If you could only join us for 15 minutes for that walk, turn around now. <laughs> so I'm very like, I need to, usually what I'll do is I'll, I'll, you know, text one of my friends and, and start some kind of not competition, but like some kind of bet where it's like, all right, for the next 30 days, I'm very all or nothing. <laughs> so like for the next 30 days, I'm going to, you know, whatever, get up and do a mini workout every day, or I'm going to do, you know, whatever, whatever it is that my goal is going to be. And I'll actually like set negative rewards for myself. So I'm very weird in this way. I <laughs> mean, it. it just works for me. I'm very motivated by like winning something or like having it, having a challenge like that. So I yep. did it once with um, a friend who's a personal trainer and she was training me at the time and I was really trying to cut out sugar because I have a bit of a thing with it and it's on, an on and off relationship and it was very on at the time. Mm. Uh, and so I said, great for the next 30 days, or I think it was maybe 60 days. Um, anytime I eat sugar, I'm going to transfer you 50 bucks. And she's like, well, you don't have to. And I was like, nope, I do have to actually. <laughs> um, and it was great. I think I, I ate it once during that time. And it was very intentional. Like I was with some friends in New York and I was like, let's go eat ice cream. Let's go eat $50 ice cream right now. <laughs> um, but every other time, like just reaching for like little, little things that I normally wouldn't think twice about. It made me just pause for a second and go, is this worth 50 bucks? Nope. Okay. So little, yeah. little games like that just make it more interesting for me. And, and same with, with fitness. Yeah. Well, I mean, there, there was an, an app or website. I don't know if they still have this, but it was called Stick, I think, that is very similar to what you're describing, but, you know, a little bit more formal where, you know, people are all yeah. involved and linked up. <laughs> yeah. So not, not too strange. <laughs> yeah. So wondering, Rebecca, what advice would you have for people who say that they're just way too busy, even, even busier than you are to fit fitness into their lives. Any tips you have? Small little bits. I think, mm -hmm. I mean, I used to think that like, if I was going to work out, I had to go to the gym for two hours and you right. know, do a full body workout. And the works that the work I was doing more recently with my friend in the morning were, you know, I think 24 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, and even that, like we, there were some days where we did 12 minutes because <laughs> we're like, All right, yeah. Time. We're just going to do a quick high intensity thing and that's it. Um, and it makes a difference. It feels, it sounds silly, like 12 minutes, 
but it's, it's actually enough. And so just realizing that you can do little bits and it doesn't have to be like this huge thing every time. Yeah, no, that's, that's great advice. And definitely, definitely what I think a lot of people need to hear. Cause I get that all the time as a personal trainer, people think they have to be in the gym for hours and it's, it's really not true, especially for some of the most beneficial, awesome benefits of fitness. You know, like you said, I mean, even a walk can even like a 10 minute walk, if you, if that's all you have can be, can be really helpful mm-hmm. for those. So Awesome. And yeah. to keep, speaking of keeping things fun in a game, we'd love to have you share a fitness challenge for the listeners, a, a fitness dare, something you dare them to do that could help them start taking action as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> pay, pay me $50. I was know. just going to say, maybe we need to set up I'm, a stick account. <laughs> I'm, I'm quite motivated by money. I'm like, I don't like spending money on things that aren't worth it to me. And so that's like, a, that's a big one for me. Um, but it is a fun game. I mean, I, enc- I encourage them to try it. It doesn't have to be $50. It doesn't even have to be money. Mm. Um, but it's like, maybe it's, you know, like you'll do the house chores for that week. If yep. you break the thing or, you know, whatever, whatever is going to motivate you. Cause everyone's very different. Mm-hmm. Um, and setting it like, you know, setting a limit on it, something like 30 days is nice. Cause it's a nice round number. You can kind of dedicate a month to it and it just gives you, I don't know, it gives you something to work towards. I also love visual reminders. So like if I can put like sticky notes on my computer or, or take one away every time I do something or don't do something, just like the visual reminder is always really, really helpful too. Yeah, no, I, I love that. That's a good strategy for sure. Okay, I like this. I like this dare. It's a fun, it's a fun dare. Yeah, okay, so, that was there. So, so the actual dare that was, a, that was probably not even one dare is to, yeah, set, set some kind of reward or negative reward. This is probably like goes against all of the like, <laughs> I'm just thinking, on, I worked with a lot of coaches who, you know, it's like follow your intuition and it's not a game and it's not, and I'm like, it's a game. It's okay. I mean, it's a, yeah. way, it's a fun thing to try. And I think the key is finding something that's going to motivate you. And that's what's going to, going to make the difference. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, that's def- definitely focus on that with clients where it's, you know, focusing on making things personalized because not everything's going to work for, for everyone the same way. So yeah, no, I, I, I still think it's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> And just taking it maybe beyond fitness, Rebecca Forrest, since I know, I know you have a lot of inspiration, especially with the work that you do, but do you have a quote or mantra that you live by, something to keep us a little inspired here? <laughs> I, I like to think about how the most things in the world are just made up. These are like just ideas that somebody came up with and they're like, this is how it's going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and so if I'm ever really stressing about anything, like anything, fitness, food, business, life, any of it. I literally, I, I find it very helpful to look up at the sky at night and just be like, oh yeah, we're, like, we are so small and this is all made up mm, mm-hmm. and it doesn't really matter. Like it really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of what's up there. This is so insignificant and it's really helpful. Love that. Yeah. Putting, putting things in perspective is always helpful for sure. Yeah. So that's pretty inspirational. I don't know if you have any other additional added inspirational things to, for us to think about before we get all your links and find out how people can connect with you. Yeah. I think when it, like when it comes to fitness stuff, it's just like, oh man, I say this as I'm, I'm nursing an injury and I can't climb and I can't really Mm. do yoga and I'm feeling very, very unfit. I mean, I'm having to just like check my, um, the voices in my head about that. Sure. I think it's just like really being, being nice to yourself, <laughs> whether you're working out a ton and feeling ripped or whether you're not just realizing that you can always change it. There's always a time to change it. Uh, whether it's now, like for me, it's probably going to be in six weeks and I can actually start moving my hand well again. Right. <laughs> and, right. That's okay. and I don't, you know, I don't need to be doing it all now. Yeah. That's actually been a theme that's come up since I've been doing these interviews for this little series. So it's funny. Maybe, maybe the universe is trying to tell us all something. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I think it's common. Yeah. Well, awesome, Rebecca. Well, really appreciate you hanging out with us, giving us some inspiration and insights again, and we'd love to have you share where people can find you. I know we have your website, but anything special going on or just any, anything else that they might want to check out or places they might want to find you. Yeah, um, my Facebook group is great for anyone who, uh, your audience is all business owners, mostly business owners. Mostly, yeah, that's mostly who I kind of hang out with. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, so I have a free Facebook group. It's a, it's a great place if you're kind of getting started in business and trying to figure out all of the things. Um, there's lots of great discussions that happen in there, whether they're like business strategy or how to take time for self-care or how to install this tech thing and everything in between. 
Uh, and that's Uncaged Lifers. And you can just um, search for it on Facebook and request to join. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Rebecca. It's been awesome hanging out with you. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's so nice to talk to you again. Thanks, Rebecca. Thanks for listening to The Fit 15. For show notes and more, visit fitarmadello.com slash podcast. See you next time.